The rising costs of higher education have plenty of people scrambling to afford college. But one of the major perks of being in the military is the access to reduced cost or even free education through the benefits of the GI Bill. The GI Bill became policy in 1944 and continued modifications have made it even easier for service members and their families to access. In fact, one of the leading reasons people join the service is to help afford the rising cost of college education. Whether you're already serving or just thinking about it, here are five things you should know about the GI Bill. Number one, what are the eligibility rules for the GI Bill? Joining branch of the military doesn't automatically qualify you for benefits, but you won't have to serve long to earn at least some eligibility. According to the VA, you're eligible to receive benefits under the post 9-11 GI Bill if you have served at least 90 days on active duty on or after September 11, 2001, received the Purple Heart on or after September 11, 2001, and were honorably discharged after any amount of service, served for at least 30 days on or after September 11, 2001, and were honorably discharged, or you are a dependent child using benefits transferred by a qualifying veteran or service member. Second, how much money can you get with the GI Bill? How much money depends on several factors, including the length of time you served and the cost of the school you're attending. If you served at least 90 days on active duty, you are eligible to have 50% of your tuition costs covered. For every six additional months, the coverage percentage increases by 10% until it reaches 100% after serving three years. However, instead of a flat amount of money, the post 9-11 GI Bill pays for tuition expenses directly to the school. Therefore, the amount of benefit you receive may change based on the cost of the school you are attending. The amount is currently capped at $26,381 and 37 cents per year for foreign or private schools. Third, how long do you have to use your GI Bill benefits? GI Bill benefits used to expire 15 years after your discharge, but not anymore. In 2018, the forever GI Bill went into effect. If your discharge date is on or after January 1st, 2013, you don't need to rush to use your benefits because you're eligible for the rest of your life. Fourth, you may qualify for a monthly housing allowance. The GI Bill doesn't cover education alone, it also includes a housing allowance. Your housing allowance is based on the zip code of the school you attend, and yes, even online students are eligible for a housing allowance. Finally, you may qualify for both the Montgomery GI Bill and post 9-11 GI Bill benefits. The post 9-11 GI Bill only provides up to 36 months of benefits but you may be eligible for up to 48 total months of benefits if you also use your benefits under the Montgomery GI Bill. Higher education can help you whether you're planning to continue your military career or transitioning into the private sector. It's an important benefit for service members and their families and definitely one worth taking advantage of.